These cables are in great demand. The national electricity grid in Bangladesh doesn't extend to the island of Rangabali on the Bay of Bengal. Many vendors at the market here have solar panels. A company called SolShare wants to network these individual units to create a local grid that will supply the entire market of the village of Mola Bazar. We need to find out where the densely populated uh, solar home systems are installed and then only possible to make a grid connecting the neighboring swans, neighboring swans. So yes, we need to look into uh, many things and the feasibility of the technological setup, then of course we can move. For the business owners here, a local mini grid would have a lot of advantages. They'd be able to connect their solar units to the grid and sell any excess electricity, or buy electricity from a neighbor. The company has developed an electricity meter that enables peer-to-peer -peer electricity trading in a smart grid system. Called a Solbox, it also helps local businessmen expand their operation. For example, the local barber. Now I can stay open when it gets dark. But I need an electric hair trimmer so I can serve even more customers. Soon, 150 businesses will be connected to the peer-to-peer -peer grid. But the potential market is even bigger than that. Bangladesh has the most private solar systems of anywhere in the world more than four million of them. The Solbox is manufactured in Bangladesh. The startup isn't turning a profit yet, but it's won over major supporters, including the Asian Development Bank and Germany's GIZ Development Agency. The boss, Sebastian Groh, is German and a former investment banker. We haven't always been here. We started out in Stanford, California, then moved to Berlin. But that wasn't the right fit. This is where we had our breakthrough. When you make something and then see it being used right away at the very same location, see what people are doing with it and that it works, it's twice as nice because you can see what you've accomplished. Gro's company is now based in Dhaka. He's learned how businesses operate in Bangladesh and learned enough Bengali to get by day to day. The problem is that people or companies that feed energy into Bangladesh's national grid aren't paid for that surplus power. With national elections due late next year, that's not likely to change. The government is also promoting the use of nuclear power. Not much is happening on the traffic front either. Everything's close together here. The distances aren't that great. So Bangladesh is just right for electromobility. SolShare is also planning another pilot project. This one will offer solar charging stations for the battery rickshaw drivers in the country. There are about 800,000 of them. The plan is to have local microgrids sell their excess energy to the charging stations. At each rickshaw, this, this kind of a plug? Yeah. Unified. Oh, excellent. Our goal is to help develop rural areas. Energy trading is already helping with that, and it's helped boost efficiency. Local people are trading energy, and allocation is improving. But we also need to bring money from outside into the villages. When the rickshaw drivers come into the villages, they bring entirely new opportunities for development with them. Bangladesh is one of the world's poorest countries. More than 1,000 rivers make developing infrastructure difficult. We're back on Rangabali Island, which is only accessible by ferry. Next to roads, utility poles are lying on the ground, unused. It's a common sight. 
17 million households are too isolated to be connected to the national grid. In the village of Malar Bazar, the shops are open late into the evening, thanks in part to the new local energy grid. <laughs>